Hello, this is Shiva Sapkoda. Um, I just wanted to share my experience with my recent Hardware 3 retrofit. So I had 2018 Tesla Model 3 mid-range version and it had MCU 2 and Hardware 2.5. So it got upgraded to Hardware 3, aka the FSD computer. I reached out to Tesla last year, um, at the end of last year, and then said, hey, do you have the FSD computer ready for me? Because I purchased FSD uh, early in 2019. And they said, no, there's nothing matching my VIN. On January 15th of 2020, I scheduled an appointment through my app, and I put FSD computer upgrade as the reason for my appointment. They reached out immediately and said, there is no FSD matching my VIN, so they would have to cancel my appointment. And they said, Tesla will reach out to you when you have a matching FSD computer for your VIN. I waited I, and I didn't hear anything for another month. And I was just, you know, some fo I heard like some folks were getting the, the hardware 3 retrofitted here in uh, Colorado in the Littleton Service Center. So I decided to schedule another appointment through my app. And this time it sent me to a mobile appointment. So a, a mobile van was gonna come out and then fix whatever uh, it needed to fix. But then in the, in the reasoning, I put FSD computer upgrade and scheduled the appointment. I was thinking Tesla was just gonna cancel this appointment. Next day, I got a text saying your appointment has been canceled, but it was rescheduled to the Littleton Service Center because they said the the need that I had wasn't gonna be done mobile, with, with mobile, um, the van. So they scheduled me for the earliest appointment that was out there at the Littleton uh, and which I had to reschedule um, for another week because I wasn't available. So I, I kept thinking, you know, the day before, I have heard people, the day before they canceled their appointment, um, the Hardware 3 wasn't ready. I, I kept thinking about that. It was the day of the appointment, and it is still said preparation um, in my app. So it showed preparation in my app. So I went to Tesla. I drove that morning, and I went, uh, I went over there, and the greeter at the service center, the technician at the service center said, yeah, your hardware 3 is ready to be upgraded. So I was like, great. I was also having some problems with uh, kind of popping noise that I would hear from the battery while parked. So I asked the person over there while I was out there, I didn't put that in my appointment. So I asked them, hey, is there anything that you guys can do? And they said they can install complimentary breathers on my battery so that it would, it would st I would stop hearing the, the popping noise. So I left the car that morning, I think it was about around nine, I left the car and they said the my car should be ready for pickup around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. before before they close, they close at six. They gave me $200 Uber credit to get home um, because they, didn't, they couldn't do a rental or give me, um, uh, give me a loaner. So I came home and then I kept uh, waiting for Tesla to text me so I can go pick up my car. They texted me, but it was just right when they were closing, so I wouldn't have made it. So I went next morning, picked up my car. Everything was great. Um, one thing I did notice was that everything was resetted. So all of my profiles were gone. The Adam, the 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 recent miles that I used, um, all of those were gone. My phone was deleted. Um, my my phone, the key still worked, but. Uh, my phone in, using Bluetooth was deleted. My home link was deleted. So everything felt like it was a brand new car. This was the email that I got from Tesla um, originally when I scheduled an appointment. They are saying that they don't have any hardware 3 matching my VIN number. This is the text message that I got from Tesla about my reschedule from mobile to service center. And this is the actual appointment. It says full self-driving computer upgrade in the bottom. This is before I went to my appointment. And this is right after they were done fixing my, uh, putting the hardware three on my car. 
And when I click on view invoice, this is what it pulled up. It shows that uh, they did all the parts and then they also added the breathers for uh, the battery. And then this is what it shows now, full self-driving computer. So the main difference with Hardware 3 is that you can see now it shows us a turning lane right here and then the traffic signal over there. If you see that there's those three and then now it turned green. So that is pretty nice. This is the FSD preview that they call it. Now there's a curve that is coming up and with Hardware 2.5, it would always tell me to take control immediately at this curve right here that is coming up. Let's see with Hardware 3 if it does it smoothly. Wow, it would t always tell me to take control immediately at that because it was such a big uh, turn over there and Hardware 3 did it just fine. So I think generally uh, the Hardware 3 is, the, the, the autopilot on Hardware 3 it's, is much more confident uh, than Hardware 2.5 that I had. Uh, I have noticed that a lot, how, how it drives. Um, the, the following distance and it doesn't freak out as much as it used to freak out with the hardware 2.5 so this is a really good this is very powerful and very strong so another thing about hardware 3 is it recognizes cones so right here as we are going through the cones and it counts and it's exactly right like how many cones are here it, it counts and then lets you know that those are the coins and also that lane is Mar not marked as a lane anymore because it is closed. So Tesla even sees that, that that lane is closed so it doesn't mark it as a lane. And now we go forward, it should pull up this as a lane right here. So it pulled up this lane here. For over there, while there was a construction, it wasn't even showing that as a lane. So it's, um, it's pretty smart. So there's this curve that is coming up in the front over there that with hardware 2.5 it will tell me to take over immediately so right here it would right around here it would say take over immediately not even like put your hands but like it would say take over immediately and hardware 3 did it with no problem with 2020.12 I used to only get a red octagon for a stop sign and now with 2020.12.1, I it actually spells out stop in the stop. Thank you for tuning into my channel and thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And please provide any feedback on the comment section so that I can improve as well as what you would like to see in future videos. Uh, thank you again. Namaste.